Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, I just got back from the Malaysia ICT Summit 2023 and there were actually quite a fair bit of cool tech. So I just want to share with you in today's very quick and short video what you can expect to see for our nation. Now the theme for the ICT Summit 2023 this year is all about digital Malaysia, green growth. So that means pushing the nation forward in terms of digitalization and of course not forgetting about our environment. Alright, so the first cool tech that I actually saw that is actually related to our 5G transmitters and this is all about they are going green efforts. Now what Huawei is actually showcasing here is not just any typical 5G transmitter. These are actually called the active antenna units and they are actually very very clever. So what these active antenna units can do is basically during the day when most people are actually using their phones, their 5G internet access, these antennas will actually be going on at full power to cater to all these users. However when night comes and less people are using their internets or 5G, these antennas will actually go into a sleep mode and they will actually conserve power unless someone starts to use the 5G nearby and this actually wakes up the antenna unit itself. So again, pretty clever. If you are going to be implementing this at large scale, we are definitely going to be saving a lot of power and reduce carbon emissions. Not to mention, the antenna units itself are actually powered by solar. So again, great for the environment. Now the second cool tech that I saw that is actually the FTTR guys and I think a lot of you are actually aware of what FTTR already means. If not, let me explain to you. Now I heard that FTTR is actually coming to Malaysia like really soon and FTTR just as the name suggests, fiber to the room, basically brings fiber light speeds to every single room and to the extent of every single device. Now I know most of you who work in the office or maybe in a large corporate or even at home, you always suffer from poor connectivity to your Wi-Fi routers, poor internet speeds and very high latency. Everything is just so frustrating. But with FTTR, this is really going to push forward our nation because everyone will be able to get fiber light speeds, gigabit speeds directly to every single device. Now how this works is that the cables are actually going to be pulled directly to the device itself and this is where you will get the super fast gigabit speeds. Now you might be wondering now, with so many cables going around, is it going to be a huge mess? Well, the best part here is that the fiber cables by Huawei is actually made to be transparent so you won't really see it around. In fact, some of these cables even come with power over fiber. That means if you have one main FTTR unit and you have another sub FTTR, the power can actually be fed directly from the main unit into the sub FTTR without having the sub FTTR being connected to a power outlet. So you're going to be saving power there again because all the power is going to be drawn by the main unit and it's going to be controlled by the main center. So again, faster internet speeds but without the expense of even more power so going green there as well. Now last but not least, the third cool tech that I actually saw that is actually the virtual human that is powered by Huawei Cloud. Now the virtual human thing is actually very very interesting and I do kind of like it a lot because just like the name suggests once again, the virtual human basically can be used for three main use cases. First of all, they can be used in customer service for example to improve the customer interaction. Secondly, it can be used to reduce labor costs. So let me talk a bit about that later. And last but not least, it can actually be able to be used to be online 24-7. So how does this really translate into real world use? Well, let me take for example the banking industry. You know, whenever you go to the bank, you know, you have to meet the customer service representative or maybe even a relationship manager. And sometimes, most of the times actually, you will be getting a pretty poor experience. However, with the virtual human, they can actually be trained to answer to all your questions even quicker and give you even more accurate answers on the spot. Now, other than that, the virtual human can be used to reduce the labor cost because instead of training new staffs to handle the customers, these virtual humans can actually be updated through software updates and they can actually get the latest information without having to need to go through the entire training process. So again, pretty cool there in that aspect. Now last but not least, like I said, virtual humans do not need to sleep and they can be online 24-7. So whenever you have a question or whenever you need your customer service representative or your relationship manager, again, just go to the virtual human, speak to them and they will be able to answer you at any time of the day. Alright, so those are the three cool tech that I saw at the ICT Summit 2023 that I think is really going to help push our nation forward but not forget about keeping our country green. It is definitely very obvious that Huawei is going all out to digitalize our nation but go green at the same time. Now with that said, thank you for watching today's video all the way till the end. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel if you want to see more info like this and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Take care and stay safe. Bye bye.